Vibes is an is actually an acronym okay. of V Y B Z Vibes, vibrating Yahweh's blessings, zigzagging. So if they send me a post, the graphic designer send me a post, and I upload it on Instagram, I'm a digital marketer. <laughs> As a digital marketer, conversion is your priority. Mm -hmm. I assure you. So people define their choices sometimes or most times based on the reference point. Once I apply and then I'm invited for an interview, I'm telling you I'm doing an 11-page campaign. It's in the proactiveness and the search and the and how knowledgeable the person is that they're able to drive conversation. So what, what's digital marketing? I believe that after this conversation, right, so many clarity would come and you know, I will be, I should be able to communicate the journey and what the future of digital marketing looks like. So a few minutes before we jumped on this session, I was on a call with Vibe somewhere and <laughs> we just were trying to, um, I, was, I was telling him the questions, possible questions I would ask. And you know, at some point in the conversation on the phone call, you know, he was already hyped, like talking about certain things he needs to make clear to, you know, people in the digital marketing space and people who have some certain perspective about um, the digital marketing space. And I can tell you that this conversation is really going to be hot, <laughs> right? Um, it's great to have you, Sambo, on this podcast. Um, you, you know, I see what you're doing and I um, appreciate your level of professionalism. And um, I believe that in this session, you'd be able to draw a lot of light into certain things that people are not, you know, unclear, they are unclear, right? And um, so, yeah, thank you for honoring this invitation. Thank you for having me. Yes. Yeah. So a quick one. Can you please, you know, just introduce yourself? Um, so my name is uh, Moses Samuel Johanna. Um, I'm from Cardona State. Wow. Um, I'm popularly known as Vibe Samuel, Instagram Vibe Samuel, Twitter vibe somewhere everywhere so yeah um i do digital marketing um i'm a lover of sneakers i love shoes mm. um i also have um some other gigs on the side but yeah i'm a digital marketer i've been practicing for about four years wow yeah four three years yeah nice so vibes where did vibes come from so vibes came from um <laughs> I rap. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. So that's why I say okay. I do other stuff like on the side. Yeah, I rap, and then vibes is an is actually an acronym okay. of V Y B Z vibes, vibrating Yahweh's blessings, zigzagly. So that's my name, V Y B Z, okay. vibrating Yahweh's blessings, zigzagly. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. It's really interesting how, um, it's really interesting how I, I see people, you know, um, give meaning to things, right? So when I was thinking it was like vibes, like normal energy, like this I mean, vibes. Yeah, you know? I mean, that's where it came from. That's why it's vibes and then has an acronym, oh, not nice. just any vibes. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. So Vice is a digital marketer, is a rapper. <laughs> you know? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I sell sneakers, <laughs> I'm a lover of sneakers. He's a lover of I have sneakers. my own thing going. Yeah. Uh, my um, page is nothing. Yeah, where I... Nothing? Some, yeah, like... nothing. N-O-R-T-H-I-N-G. Oh, okay. Nothing underscore official one. Okay. Yeah, that's where I like started maybe designing some shirts. Oh, okay. Thing, uh, oh, okay, okay. And then also shoes, I sell shoes there. Mm, nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm also a lover of sneakers, you know. <laughs> Who knows why I might go home with these sneakers. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to dress like this. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. So yeah, let's, 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 let's draw down to this, right? Um, what is, uh, okay. Let me, let me say this right before as we proceed. I've spoken to a lot of people about um, different areas in tech, but I questioned myself this morning and I asked myself, have I ever told anybody to learn digital marketing? Like the way I tell people to, <laughs> to go into product products, products <laughs> and all of that. I don't think I've ever recommended digital marketing to 
anybody. I just thought of that, right? Walking now. And uh, don't worry, you, you, you don't need to <laughs> shoot me for this. You don't need to hit me for this, right? I'm just, I'm just expressing a truth, right? I'm expecting a fact, right? And um, I believe that after this conversation, right, so many clarity would come, and you know, I will be, I should be able to communicate um, the journey and what the future of digital marketing looks like, right? Uh, so yeah. So what, what's digital marketing, right? What's digital marketing? So digital marketing is basically um, advertising your product online. There are different types of digital marketing, TV, so medium for marketing, radio, yeah. um, the internet broadly now, um, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, like there's everything is marketing. There's different marketing channels. So you're just basically taking your product digitally, mm-hmm. monitor um, um, advertising it digitally to people far and near. That's the advantage you have using these tools mm-hmm. now. Yeah. So. So if they send me a post, the graphic designer send me a post, and I upload it on Instagram, I'm a digital marketer. <laughs> 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 call it what you like, man. Call it. But then that's that's funny, you know. Because these are some of the things that some people think digital marketing is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This graphic designer sent me post. I put it online. I just post it, add some little caption. Yeah, some people just okay, I'm a digital marketer. What yeah. makes digital marketing different? From Bala Blue. <laughs> Bala Blue. <laughs> right, what, makes, what makes digital marketing different in itself, right? That you think what's what's the what's what's digital marketing all about? You've 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 said part of it, right? Yeah. But um I, I also see that some people misdefine these things, right? Some people misdefine it. Um misdefine it, right? So yeah. Uh so I think whilst we, whilst we can, a way for us to you know, go into this more would, would be to say, okay, what are the things that you think people think is digital marketing, but it's not actually digital marketing, or okay. like things you want to explain. Okay, so if, if you um, leave it, or if you pull it away from social media managing, so there are three steps to these things. Yes. Social media managers also call themselves digital marketers. Okay. Yes. You can see people like that apply jobs. Also, social media marketing, and but then there's digital marketing manager, there's digital marketing professional, there's mm. digital marketing um, experts. Mm. Let's have it. There are different types. All right. And then I think what makes you different from others or defining that you are a digital marketer is um, the tools you use. So just as like oh, there are plenty hands behind a mobile app, there's a product designer, yeah. there's a developer, front and back end. Yeah. There, there are different people. That's how digital marketing is. Okay. They need people from the um, the back end working to actually make the fonts beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Take for instance, always you go online and then you are seeing. Um, um, close up. Maybe you just randomly said something about, oh, I want to buy close up, or maybe typed it somewhere. Mm-hmm. They are showing you every time. People made that happen, mm-hmm. and that's digital marketers. People make ad pop out of your screen when you're watching a video on YouTube yeah. that is not premium. Mm-hmm. Digital marketers do that. Mm-hmm. Digital marketers make. Every digital marketing is deep than people think it it is. Mm. Oh, once you can design, once you can um, schedule posts on Hootsuite, you just say, okay, yes, I'm a digital marketer. I'm a digital marketer. And then you upload on your LinkedIn. Okay, come show working. Mm. Come, let's talk about digital marketing trends. Mm. Let's talk about email marketing. Let's talk about SEO marketing. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about SEM. Mm. Let's talk about PPC, you get, there are plenty, there are plenty, it's broad. Yeah. And then, so I think people make mistakes a lot where if you're asking them to, if you're asking them to talk about um, digital marketing, then they start 
they don't they don't see it that deep. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll come to that. Yeah. Yeah. But for now, like, did, did I answer your question? Yeah, yeah, I think it did. It yeah. Did, so it I did. don't divert from yeah, our did. initial topic. It did. It did. It did. It did answer my question. Okay. So um, whilst you're answering the question, I just thought to ask this, right? So um, let's say you get a role, right? Yeah. As a digital marketer, what's the first thing you do? You get a role. Yeah, like you get as a, a digital role. marketer. Yeah. So as a digital marketer that you know your onions, yeah. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you create a plan. It's called yes, a plan. Yeah. What are this company into? Who are their targeted audience? Um, do they have brand visibility? Okay. Do people know them? Yeah. It's easy to say, oh, I got a gig with Hisense, and then I'm going, and then Hisense is a known company already. All I have to do is create strategy around, oh, Hisense, it will not be hard. But for some companies that you need to tell them the bitter truth, like, guy, nobody know now. Mm -hmm. until, until people know you, yeah. your brand is just going to be a very, very normal thing to anybody. But until you're putting it to people's faces that this is what I do, this is how I do it, I am better, I have quality, I have this, I have that. There's nobody that is going to see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My making yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, making sense. Yeah. Making sense. So when you get a job as a digital marketer, the first thing you do is you create a plan. You know the company, you know your goals, your objectives, what you plan to achieve, what you plan to aim, budget, or in the one year spreading or in the six month contract, in the two month contract, what are the things that you want to put in place? Mm -hmm. What are the things that you want to achieve for this brand? Mm -hmm. ROI, like we need to make money. Mm -hmm. As a digital marketer, that should be your goal. Mm -hmm. But then you see where I say, oh, people divert digital marketing through. Of course, everybody is hiring you to make money for them. Yeah. Not, not build an account that is saying you have 36K followers. Mm -hmm. okay. Now that you're here talking, like, there are some as, questions that are popping that As, as, popping as a digital marketer, conversion is your priority. Mm -hmm. I assure you. Conversion. Conversion. Okay. What are you bringing to the company? If yeah. you're not bringing, what's the progress with the brand visibility? Mm. Can you prove that I have a lot of people are seeing that? But if a lot of people are seeing the product you are trying to advertise, why are they not like making yeah. um, inquiries? Yeah. Why, why are they not engaging? Yeah, yeah. So it's broad. And you saying, oh, if they, if they like employ me as what? Like a digital marketing manager yeah. that is supposed to do handle email marketing mm -hmm. or that is supposed to come and be implementing SEO or that is coming to do search engine marketing mm -hmm. or that is coming to do just pay per click. Mm -hmm. Everything, there's a specialist, email marketing specialist. There's SEO specialist. Oh, wow. There's, yes, there's a digital marketing manager. There's Google. Like, it's broad. Mm. It's more than people see it. Like, it's not creating calendar. There's that, too. It's not creating calendar. Content calendar. Um, content calendar, scheduling post. And then, then people, do you know the most funny thing is people think doing a campaign is when you post and then you go to your wall and you see boost post, pay 3,000 there. And you click and then boom, everybody's saying it. No, no. You probably will get people from there, but there's more. Mm. Because from the back end, if you actually understand that, oh, I have to target this very thing to a certain audience. Mm -hmm. If I'm selling Kaftan, where do you think I'll make money in Kaduna? Mm. Definitely not the south. Mm. I'm going to the north. Mm. So I'm directing my post to the north. I have quality jalapias, I have nice caps. Not like Kaduna people in the south here don't know the value of those things. Yeah. But the targeted audience, they are not them. Yeah. Some people cannot legit remove 50K to buy a house or a car. Mm. And there's some people that can do it with the blink of an eye, like sharp. Mm. Mm. So it's defining your audience. Mm. It's a lot of things to actually do on the like first day or the first week. Yeah. Also understanding the um, the background of the business. Is this something marketable? How do we rebrand? Does it have quality? Mm. Does it have priority? Mm. I will always tell people that um, 
I think why I love being a digital marketer is seeing a product and market put into good use. Take for instance, the way this caftan, if I sold this caftan to you, I feel fulfilled that, guy, you look very good in this. You can say that again, say that again. Do you get that and any <laughs> any other person that is with you, yeah. that is seeing you, knows that, guy, where you do this thing? I would like, oh, very affordable, oh, see, vibes. Before you know, you are giving him my card or you are referring him, referring him to my page where he goes to see the magic, where I have quality pictures. I'm sure you know why like, you're using all these lights, camera, yeah, yeah. everything. It's to make it attractive. Yeah. It's to make it marketable. Yeah. It's to make it look not just like a very, very regular one. Now that's the time you put in in making good quality to yeah. dish out to people. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've said, I've started diverting. No, you have not yeah. diverted. You, you are, you're on course, yeah. right? So, you're on course, you're on course. So there's a lot of things actually to do on the first day of the job mm. or try to offer. But before then, when I used to apply for jobs then back to back, see, mm. once I'm doing you, once I apply and then I'm invited for an interview, I'm telling you I'm doing an 11-page campaign. I'm breaking down how to achieve SEO, even if I know I'm not like a good, a big specialist there. Yeah. Yes. I'm selling them everything. I'm telling you, like, I'm telling them I know these things. Like, just hire me and then we'll put it together. I'm telling you. Hmm. I'm telling them, yes, I know the use of email marketing. I know how to get the data for the email marketing. I know how to run a campaign to get, achieve X amount of results market everything and then when i'm coming for the interview i'll say i made something for you but i've back, i've done background checks i've told them what i can offer yeah. so i have an edge over any other person that is like coming mm-hmm. for the interview yeah already so yeah. it's that's how you have an edge but how many people can like do, do that work, right I, I think that's something that's a that's a um that's a value that some people, let me not say most people don't have, right? Especially when you are trying to get a job, if you are in the early stage or the stage where, okay, you want to get a job, right? Um, people, companies, teams love proactiveness, right? So even under mentorship, right? Someone who has been mentored, right? So let's say, for example, a mentor has about 10 mentees, right? His favorite would always be that person who is proactive. Yeah, sure. Who takes the initiative to say, oh, yeah, I've gone ahead and this is what I found out. Do you know? Because it's in the proactiveness and the search and and how knowledgeable the person is that you're able to drive conversation. And that's why you can now even have an interview. And it's not looking like a, a question and answer. It's like you're having a conversation. Yes. Right? And yeah. that's because you've been able to study probably what the company is about and how you are able to drive, help them drive value, right? Yeah. I think that's something that any enthusiast or mid-level, I think senior levels will probably know this, right? But a senior level who doesn't know this should know this, right? These are things that gives um, anybody in any career field, right? Any field an edge, right? I want to apply for a job. I've gone to, I've gone to study the company and I already know what the gaps are, right? Yeah. And I know how to um, connect those thoughts. And, you know, I'm telling them, this is what I can do for you. This is how we go about it. And even if they don't, even if they don't pick you, you are excited because you have, you've made that growth. Yeah. Regardless, right? So nice, 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 nice. Good. You know, um, also, you know, there, there's a way I'm, at, I'm approaching something I'm working on currently. And... One of the things I've been doing for the past one week is profiling. Yeah. Right? And what that profiling is going to do for me, uh, how I see it, I'm excited. I know that um, because I'm also in Kaduna, right? I understand that in order to convince anybody to do some certain things, you have to go the extra mile. Yeah. If someone in Lagos would want to do certain things, it might not need to go the extra mile to convince somebody that, oh, this is it. We need to do this, right? But we have to add extra layers to these things, right? Not because of anything, but because I just need to 
reduce the chances of failure. Right? Yeah. So great, 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 great. When okay, you've, you've explained, you've, you've said this already. Um, you started about two, about three or four years ago. So, how do you manage an organization where they don't have budgets for digital marketing? Because that's something I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I know some people will be watching it and like, let's get to that, let's get to that, let's have it, let's have it. For organizations that don't have budget for digital marketing. How do you handle that? So, you know, digital marketing, yeah? Like marketing, those tools that they put together yeah. to tell you, oh, when you use this tool, you get visibility. When you press here, you will do here. But again, you can choose to be doing baby step for a year. Yeah. I mean, just doing your normal posting, your normal... Organic. I'm not saying organically, I'm not saying you will not get there. Yeah. But... It's a business you are having. Now, if I understand you, that's small scale, yeah. like small, it's there. If anybody have taken like digital Google Garage course, you know what I'm talking about. They tell you the whole basics of digital marketing. They try, I love that course so much. Yeah, I've recommended that course for like a lot of people. Can you say that again? Google? Google Garage, like um, um, digital skill for Africa. When you okay. Google it, just digital skill for Africa. Okay. They've even advanced it now. Wow. It's not like before that you just go take courses and know. Now it's a little bit more complicated because you guys finish this, 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 and then you have to write exams. Wow. I'm telling you. But you, you, write, but you believe that once anybody who wants to get to digital marketing space, once yeah. a person takes that course. You take, you have a broad understanding, like the basic understanding. About digital marketing. Yes, about digital marketing. And I'm not saying you should stop there. Because I know plenty of people that will finish. I did that. I finished that one. I relaxed. But as time goes on, I, I knew that Kai. I know we just go interview. Then you will ask me, what's this? Then I'm stammering. No, let me know it now. Yeah. Let me know the term. If I want to do this, like yeah. long, let me go, like, let me go deep. Yeah. Let me know about this thing. How, how do they do it? Mm. You can see, there's no, you cannot, designers, they learn every day. Yeah. So do Google, digital marketers, like you learn every, every day. Mm. I'm waiting for the question part where <laughs> you'll be like, oh, is digital marketing a, a, a tech skill? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just warming up to, <laughs> to that point. <laughs> but for now. I cannot ask that question because yeah, I, I, I won't be able to ask that question. <laughs> but, but, but that's some questions. That's something that, you know, I think people people think about. And, okay, let me say this. This is, uh, this is, this is deep waters, right? <laughs> uh, so you, you, you see um, pricing of courses. Yeah. Right. Data size, product design, front end. But when it comes to digital marketing, the price is lower. Mm, you're all free, sir. <laughs> because Google, Google Garage, digital skill for Africa is free. Anybody that's taking that course, we know that. <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. Does he mean? No, 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 no. no. So, so this is how I think about it, right? Yeah. Um, everything is about reference points. Mm -hmm. I, was, I think I, when we had the initial conversation, you know, when, when I wanted to invite you, I said something. At the early part of my, when I, when I was done with secondary school, when I wanted to get to university, I changed my career yeah. um, choice uh, like five, six times for, from petrochemical, petroleum. I shouted. <laughs> mechanical to computer uh, science, to computer engineering, down to statistics, right? Yeah. And all of these decisions, we are made based on reference points. My dad at that point was working with Total, right? So it just makes sense. Oh, I'm working with Total. You know, he wants me to also be on that level, level of, you know, senior executives in Total. So it's like, okay, they study petrochemical. You can, right? At some point, you know, he had friends in Chevron and he's like, oh, mechanical engineering is the course. If your son studied mechanical engineering, you yeah, know, you would, you know, you'd be able to work in Chevron. So at that point, okay, okay, if I study mechanical engineering, Chevron the way. Right? I actually wanted to study mechanical <laughs> engineering. Going to when when after secondary school, I got admission. I applied for I think um, 
was that pre-degree something? Yeah, pre-degree. I did pre-degree. In uh, Mina. I but did. it didn't work because my, you know that time, cho um, first choice, second choice, yeah. the polytechnic now clicked. Wow. So it was mechanical I wanted to do because my uncle studied mechanical engineer. I have two uncles, three, about three uncles that study mechanical. So there are the people, you know, growing up now, that there will be people that you actually look up want to, to, yeah, look up to, want to mirror. And then there's this, my uncle that is very calm. Now he, yeah, he'll be like, they, they need they money, money to go, they drop one. Drop. <laughs> yeah, no, I won't be like calm now. You know why? Damn. Get me. So I said, I was, he was the one that advised me. He was like, ah, I study mechanical. Steven study mechanical. He could, what are you doing? Study I mechanical. Go to then. I said, okay, electrical. Me, shall be engineering. Mm. Me, I don't even know what it is. They solve for that way. <laughs> right. Interesting. I mean, interesting. Yeah, know, so, I get. So it's, it's so, so for me, how I think of it is the reference point, right? So people define their choices sometimes or most times based on the reference point, right? Um, the reason why, for example, in Cardinal State, we, the only way, one of the ways we can have more people get into tech is if we have more tech people or creative people show themselves, mm -hmm. right? So people can, you know, say, oh, this person is doing this, oh, this person is doing this. That's the, that's the way we can, that's how um, we see trends in, in the particular skills and you see people jumping on it. Although some people also jump on certain fields because, oh, it's eye pain. Right. Yeah. So I think the thing is this, right? Some people don't know if digital marketing is high paying, right? Some people have dumbed it down to post, share, gather people to like, comment, <laughs> yeah. and all of that, right? But I think it's more than that. Personally, I think it's more than that. And I think the the idea of digital marketing, right, is something that is at the is at the core of every organization. Right, so um, I, I used to say something that. So I'm, I'm I'm doing this podcast. People would not know me if I don't share this podcast appropriately. Yeah, of course. If I don't do the necessary marketing, digital marketing, right? It's not just all about sponsoring the post, right? I've seen people that have. Okay, should we get to that? <laughs> Companies that have 10,000 or 100K Follow. followers. But when you look at the engagement, it's like the, likes, the likes can be like 5, 10. I'm like, once I just see that, like it's just off me. So what, in fact, let's, let's even talk about that. What, what impression does that drive? That you look at my page, that you see 100k <laughs> followers. Yeah. 100k followers, right? Mm -hmm. You see 100k followers. You probably now see that I'm following maybe like two or ten or fifty, right? But when you look at my posts, the things I do, no engagement. So it's a two ways thing. Okay. This it's a two ways thing. Enlighten me. And it's tricky. So people. Because like they do that kind of thing. People are interested. <laughs> people are interested in numbers. Some people numbers is what like make make it ah this is the the, the legit the mm -hmm. page the page is original. Some people are the content. Some people people have like just different different stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. but if you are saying um oh, what are we talking about? I was talking about the fact that you see a company or a company's page. Exactly, right? exactly. I just remembered. So um, they could legit have that 10K mm -hmm. organically okay. or maybe using the tools. Okay. You can direct a particular um, campaign to saying, oh, I want to get more engagement. I want to get more followers. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Yes, you can do that without... Put anything and you might achieve that 10k, but it's like parking here, coming to this like gray hub. Mm -hmm. If I'm buying a water at a shop here mm -hmm. and it's always not cold, the day I will go to the next shop and find out that they have cold water, I'm not coming back, I'm not coming back there. Yeah, so I've already know the pattern, it's a pattern. Yeah. I'm just trying to tell you 
as marketers, as, as brand owners. Up to today, you see Pepsi doing commercials, trying to rebrand. Yeah. You will see um, tooth, Toothpaste, McLean. Yeah. You see them doing close-up. You see them doing adverts, doing... Is a con marketing is a continuous process. Yeah. You can bring them organically. And when they, when they are here now, yeah. there's nothing exciting. Mm. So you end up just having number because I followed you because you were doing this thing. But now, we just did. I have another page that excites me. Mm. So it's possible that mm. you are not dishing out what you promised from initial. Mm. It's possible that you bought followers mm. to just tell your people, yes, they buy followers. People buy followers. Mm. I mean, but there's nothing good as organic if you know that, oh, this podcast, now, ah, this one will make sense because we actually need, let's make it sponsored. Let's run a campaign to it. Who is this post supposed to see? Oh, people um, um, into tech, secondary school students, mm. um, because yeah, it is um, it consists of maybe um, encouraging the young ones yeah. to like get, get into, into tech. Speed, yeah. Yes, and maybe telling adults it's not even too late. Once yeah. you can do this at home, yeah. you can use, you can manipulate the tools, navigate through them, you can also be that. I think we know the right audience to use in that case. So it's just looking for the keywords. Mm. You can buy followers mm. for just the paparazzi. You can have legit thank you followers and not have that engagement because you don't excite your audience. Enough. Yeah, yeah. I think I've gotten some clarity on this. Nice, nice, nice perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have this question. Um, what challenges have you faced personally as a digital marketer? Challenges. Yes. Challenges. What challenges? Like, can you like explain again? Like maybe personal challenges on your like your way as you know. I know when you started, right, what you were, you know, getting, you know, feedbacks that you're probably getting is different from now, right? Yeah, um, you're on your most way. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you see, um, you know, your ability to even land roles, right, yes. has probably improved, right? So what were the challenges that, you know, you just feel like, uh, if I knew this um, earlier, I probably have done things differently. But okay, so maybe if I had known that tech is no miracle money, mm. <laughs> that you enter and then in two months you are blown. Like it will happen for some people, though. Yeah, positioning. Grace is different, audience different. Yeah. You get. Yeah. It could legit happen for some people, but honestly, mm. you need time. Mm. And I'm telling you, I will always be a fan of saying anything you stay with becomes part of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Typical example of maybe grass that is gathered. Mm -hmm. One, two people start passing there, pass back, pass there, pass back. Yeah. The road starts opening. Yeah. Same thing with water. When water starts coming Straight from a particular way. line, it keeps eating, eating consistency. Yeah. Because it keeps going. Through it's a way. continuous process. Yeah. You don't stop learning. You keep buying courses. But I think the challenges I face while getting into the tech space is even having people that want to even carry you under their wings. Like, legit just give you a rule. Just give me a try. Mm. Let me grow somewhere. I mean... If, if you're coming up and you don't have like anything that you're actually testing, the knowledge you're having every day is just, it should just be there. You yeah. just be gathering them. There's no field experience, no practical to mm -hmm. get. Mm -hmm. There was nobody to actually say, oh, ah, rules were hard to actually get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rules as of then. Ah, but now. <laughs> Now, God is faithful, <laughs> honestly. Okay. Honestly. Mm, mm. I can't lie. Because yeah. I think the confidence level that I had now, I didn't have it then. Mm. I, can, I can tell you I've done like 15, 10 interviews. Okay, LinkedIn. 
bro, like the way the way I apply job for me and my guys when we wake up in the morning, mm. ah, now we now our hobby be that now what we do, do, then mm. ah. And that time, you, you, if you know LinkedIn well, you get one particular message where they send to your link, to your email in the morning. You know, maybe you apply in the night. They will delay some more. In the morning, they will say, oh, hi, Mr. Moses. Thank you for applying for a digital marketing at Grey Hub International. Unfortunately, Unfortunately <laughs> we may not be moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, if you have not gotten to the stage of unfortunately, and you are you are <laughs> into tech, praying that you get a breakthrough in tech, and you've not had at least hundred of those messages, <laughs> bruh. You have not started. Yeah, you have not started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I can I can imagine, right? Yeah. I can imagine. You go see him for all. So it's not even only digital marketing. I think it, the challenges are everywhere. Yeah. Like having people that want to carry you under their wings, even internship roles, you hardly... So you have to start somewhere. So the sense you start with is a social media manager because you will just find somebody that will be creating okay. posts and posting. And yeah. once you have access to the account, you test, start testing hashtags, you start testing your content. You now that's where you start being creative before you now know. Uh, uh, if thirty people if you see this thing, mm. like a uh, normal, normal, uh, five thousand feet here. Mm. Oh, make I advise this person where they work with. Let's yeah. do this. Yeah. So gradually, yeah. from there now you are now testing what you've learned, what you've been doing behind the the doors, and then yeah. you are trying to first hand try them. Yeah. Let's try reels today. Mm. Let's try carousel designs. Mm. Let's make the content like this. And all. Like, I think one of my my favorite pages on Instagram would be Tony Elumelu, mm. like um, UVA. Yeah. So, when we started, I was telling you, oh, there are digital marketing trends, and there's actually digital marketing is broad, where mm. in the case where there are plenty roles in digital there's a graphics a digital marketer is a graphics designer mm. digital marketer do you understand they work hand in hand they are team yeah a, a digital ma, digital marketing ideally is supposed to be a team mm. Mm. a team of different people Can having have, specialties have, yeah. like having like vast knowledge in mm. a particular thing email marketing i know it to the core yeah. Do you get yeah. coming together saying, oh, okay, what do we have today? This is our market. How do we create content? How do we invest? Oh, let's go out today. Let's go and maybe create a commercial. Let's something. Is a team. Mm. One person will be thinking of content. One person will be struggling with design. One person will be doing the copywriting. One person will be doing the campaign. One person will monitor the campaign. There's data inside the campaign that you need to analyze to know trends. Mm. There's, there's also a sheet that you store the incoming leads. Mm. How do you do that alone? Mm. Mm. How? How do you do that alone? Mm. People are expecting you to do that. Mm. Sometimes Omohonga is real, oh, guys. <laughs> you will do everything. Bruh, you will do it. I'm telling you, you nice. will do it. Nice. And then it's quite sad because... If any company owner there is like listening or watching this, almost sometimes yeah, you have to set your priorities straight. You cannot use 50K to get 50 million, except you are, I don't want to say the word though, but <laughs> people, that's, that's how people, have to be expectation, defined. but then garbage in is garbage out, out. input, output. You cannot, you cannot get output if you don't input. Yeah. A yearly budget, what's your yearly budget? You're telling the person, just chill. I beg more, just the dwarm. How? We have a new product coming. I'm telling you strategies. Let's do this. Let's push this. Let's make this video. Let's make this jingle. This will be nice. This, first of all, if the person you're working with doesn't take initiatives, doesn't agree, importantly, no go up. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> no go lie you. Nah. <laughs> Uh, digital wahala marketing. <laughs> no digital even, marketing. Nah, digital, digital wahala. I'm telling you, <laughs> but if you have the power, do it organically. You, not putting you. 
Mm-hmm. But you have the, if you know the company have money, tell them, yeah. tell them we need to do campaign twice a month. One mm-hmm. video, one normal flyer or normal details. Mm-hmm. Try your hands in A-B testing to know what content do better. Yeah. So you can improve it. If they have the money, do it all. Because if you don't do an almost no result, no evidence, yeah. telling you, yeah. you'll be working, company will be saying, Omo, this one said, we'll not see it. Now just post it, you post. Mm. Not saying, we know they even get likes. It's, it's funny how you, likes, what's my business with likes? I mean, they, I mean, go force people like your thing. <laughs> That's the honest truth. But if, if, if I don't tell you that, if you we sit down in this light and talk about a particular product, maybe we're talking about water or... Mm. If we don't package it well, people won't see it and like. And if you can't invest, how would that thing be possible? Yeah. It won't. Somebody is telling you, let's pay a proper graphics designer to do graphics. They are saying, no, let's use Canva. Canva. <laughs> no. I'm not saying if you use Canva, it's bad. Or not. I can't go. You have to improve. What's God? I'm a, give you a graphic designer a job, guy. I don't even lie. I know they solve anybody. <laughs> If you the learn Canva, you call yourself design. Oh, oh. Mama, rest. Oh. Mama, rest. Rest. <laughs> shot fired. Shot fired. You have, you have, you have, you have fired the shots. You have fired the shots. You have fired this one way. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, just to corroborate with what you said, right? Yeah. I was listening to um, the social media manager of Steve Ballett, right? Yeah. The diary of a CEO, one of the fastest growing podcasts, YouTube channel, um, maybe in the world. Grew from 10K to currently about 5 million or 6 million subscribers. Nice. And, you know, she was talking about how the fact that uh, before they even put out thumbnails, they would have probably tested about 100 thumbnails. Nice. Before they before they choose the final one, they'll do this. Um, I think it's YouTube testing or something, something too bad, something like that. They use it to test the thumbnails and see the one that is performing before they you know, re- release on uh, release that particular thumbnail. You know, and she was like, oh, on their team, maybe before they grew up, to, they grew to that point, right? They have somebody who is in charge of thumbnails. They have somebody who is in charge of reels. Somebody who is in charge of teasers. Somebody who is in charge of, um, you know, even the kind of text that they use, right? Team. You get different people focus. There's somebody that is probably listening on it. No, my podcast has not grown to that extent yet. <laughs> but yeah, we go to that point where there's somebody that is, whilst we're talking right now, the person is sticking out highlights that, oh yeah, this part yeah, has yeah. to be like the, the what we use of the, you get of the, of the conversation, yeah. right? So I think the more we... Um, also, with the, it applies to everything, but in terms of digital marketing, right, the more we're able to narrow down to certain things, right, um, you'd see the beauty and the beauty of digital marketing, right? I feel like digital marketing um, is a is a area is an area in tech that um, that defines the success of companies, right? You see someone like David O. Still, they do marketing. Right? <laughs> you do I mean. They have they have crew. They have Fans, and you just like see, you see, and they follow children, they dance, they teach, and everything. <laughs> you get, they have, you know, different. They are willing to even experiment on certain things, yeah. right? I think digital marketers helps companies to, you know, experiment in telling their stories in certain ways, yeah. right? And also help to narrow down their message to specific audiences, right? So that somebody types or somebody types beats just online and the person begins to see yep. different uh, different um, advertisement on beats, you know. So yeah, um, okay, so I'll ask these two questions while we round up, right? Um, have you ever mentored anybody? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I still have people, yes. All right, so it simply means if you are watching this, you need a mentor. <laughs> I have, but I will always tell the people that are under they know me, like I play. But then it's not force. <laughs> they know they force anybody again, you know, guy. Mm. So I will always tell them, you are you are what you want to be is here in your hands. Mm. Like 
if you like, take it serious. If you like, don't take it serious. But if you are supposed to work with me and then, I, in fact, you cannot, if I just notice you are not serious, uh, me, I will not, I don't used to question you and say, oh, why not? But I will tell you, like, put this, put your all. Yes, if sir. really, this, but there's no force. If you don't want to do it, there's nobody forcing you to come and do it. But now you've decided to come and then you are skipping. Mm. And then do this thing, you are taking three months. I see I have some students that even the, the exam of the course, she never finished them. If she's seen, she's seen this, she know. <laughs> she never finished them. Up to now, I've been following. Where's this at? Where's this at? Where's this at? And then it's just you personally. Mm. If you want to be serious, you will. If you have people that are paying attention to you, that want to help you, that want to take advantage, be close to them, disturb them. Mm. There's somebody in my office that when, when she wants to, when she wants to beg me to make to make flyer, mm. she will she will call my name like ten thousand times, and I tell her, I told her that that's the kind of person I am. Just tackle me like that. Mm. Now you know it's really fine. Mm -hmm. You cannot put pride into like learning. If you want to learn, you have to follow your mentor. You have to yeah. disturb him. You have to yeah. mentor my work now. Mentor yeah. no go chop. <laughs> mentor, <laughs> mentor the work. <laughs> for him to have, for, for him to even have been a mentor, right? He, he had you know focused on his own um, his own life, right? Yeah, so yeah. every mentor has his own life to to live, right? So, Interesting, interesting. It's great to know that you actually mentor people, so people can also reach out to you uh, to, um, to seek for mentorship, right? All right. Um, I think I, I believe that this session has really been insightful, right? Um, we've touched various areas um, on digital marketing, and um, personally, I, I want to say this: that I think, right, digital marketing is a very, very powerful. Area. I don't understand. Why are you thinking? Okay, sorry, sorry. You don't think. I like, know. I mean, if people, I don't understand. Like, forget. No, 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 no. So, you know, you said okay. something earlier, yeah? You yeah. said if uh, you, you see courses online, you see five dollars. Let uh, you, you want see to attack me. Five hundred dollars. You see when you read to digital marketing, you see free. You see, see. <laughs> Ask people that have company <laughs> that rely solely on their marketing team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ask people that use digital marketing for conversion. Mm -hmm. The current company I work for, like, they don't even want to hear anything. I'm telling you, if I tell them, bring 10 million naira, mm -hmm. uh, there's something we are going to do. Like, the budget is 10 million. This is how we'll do it. This is how we'll do it. I'm telling you, they will give you. After now, we'll, we'll discuss about that company. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them, they will not give you, I, I, I'm telling you, their company is like that, they will not pay you the money, but they have passion because they know it's working. Yeah. They know you have 100 people that are coming to ask, where can I buy this? Where can I get this? Mm -hmm. Oh, how much is this? Yeah. They know, they are seeing results, so they are putting more. There's energy coming, they're saying, oh, so if we don't have to do door-to-door -door marketing and we have this guy that is bringing this thing, mm. anything in talk will go here, I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah, so let, let me rephrase. <laughs> Please go, rephrase. Address them. But if you do your, you build your product, you don't market it. Your product is going nowhere now. Influencing uh, is marketing. Yeah. Um, pay ad is marketing. Okay. Calling somebody to, even people hawking it on the street, it's called offline marketing. Yeah. It's marketing. If you don't show your product, you finish, build up, you, you are keeping your, you are showing your friend to download. <laughs> How many friends do you, you will follow to download them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let me, let me say this again, <laughs> so that I don't get attacked the second time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe um, digital marketing skill is it's very powerful. Um, not, not just because we are even having, yeah, partly I've, I've been enlightened based on this conversation. Um, and you know, I, I I believe that it's core to any any company's progress, right? Um, the reason why any company starts anything is because they want to reach out to an audience. Yeah. Right. You can have a beautiful design if your the targeted audience are not seeing your message, right? You can even have a powerful story 
And if it's not getting to the right set of people, it's just as useless, right? It's just like it's just like having a beautiful grave. Yeah. Right? It's not it's 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 it's, it's has the potential to do great things or to, you know, transform lives or to, you know, benefit a lot of people. But if the message doesn't get to the right set of people, it doesn't get to the right set of hands, you you can't make progress as a company, right? And I think that companies should pay more attention to digital marketers um, because they are like a, a very strong support system of, 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 of the success of the company and individuals who are looking at getting into the tech space, right? Um, you know, it, everything is not just about front-end and back-end development, right? Non-code. It's called non-code <laughs> skill. No code required. No code required. I swear, just a big read. Just a <laughs> <laughs> right, so no yeah, code no require. Require, it, it doesn't require any coding skill, right? And you can become really successful at this. Also, you also need to, you also need to understand that um, it takes time. This is for every tech skill. It takes time. You you want to get into the space, and in two months you want to start living large. That can happen if you are rightly positioned with the right set of people that would give you the opportunity to test and you know grow. But also understand that uh, it takes time, right? It can take six months, it can take nine months, it can take one year, it can take two years. But the moment you hack it, right, That's and you are the right set of people, right, you are in the right set of community, yeah. you know, you become a baller and not a mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> I think right. um, part of my journey, like this thing you said about like putting yourself in the right sort, like positioning yourself. Yeah. I think not like my 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 circle, like are digital marketers. But yeah. I'm telling you, everybody in that circle is doubling up. I, it's not it's not saying oh because no, everybody is doubling up. Yeah. Everybody is approaching this thing like they've on everybody now is like all of us now understand that this is my life. Yeah. If this is my life, I'm going to treat it like my life. Yeah. So if I'm without this, I will not pay my rent. I will not eat. I will not do anything. Yeah. So we've all have that understanding now that ah, now more work, more money. Yeah. If you don't work, there's no money. So the way you approach it, you are not approaching it like when you finish coming to Grey Hub, you go back home, there's rice, mm. there's juice mm. in the fridge that you did not buy with your money. Mm. Bruh. Mm. <laughs> If you know that almost everything relies on you, the way your approach to it alone. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, I don't know. People have different passion. People have different approaches. But I'm telling you, if you are coming to this thing, put your all. Yeah. Don't look at, oh, the, the, um, the short term, oh, I want to make out. Because it's like everybody thinks if you just enter tech, you're supposed to blow mm. once. Job supposed to come. Guy, there's job looking for error. We spoke about it. Yeah. Unfortunately, we cannot move for. <laughs> if you never collect that in 100, <laughs> I'm not even like positioning. Okay. My friends are not. So I'm just saying positioning yourself around your right circle. Like if you don't have people that have passion for a particular thing and you see, even if it's business, yeah. you see them looking for different ways to advance this business. Yeah. You see them buying ring lights. You see them. I'm not saying you have to do digital marketing before you can be, but that's how you know that you're committed to something. Yeah. That's how, learn those kind of stuff from your friends. I personally learn from my circle because, oh, uh, this guy, you know, we learned to this one, one year in start design, in say six months, you can actually achieve something out of tech. Yeah. Six months, depends yeah. on how you put body, but six months, yeah. their success story, seven months, you are landing your first gig. Eight, code, people coding. People, yeah. I'm telling you, whatever you're doing is not even digital marketing. The right positioning, position yourself too. If they don't position you, position <laughs> yourself. Mm, nice. If yeah. they don't follow you, follow them. Oh, sir, I, <laughs> I heard you. Uh, yeah. Sir, when can I come? Ah, you just show him your part of your work so that he will no, that's give you that. like good feedback and oh, Kai, the color we use, which kind of fonts be this? Yeah. Now, if you want to, me personally, that's how I learn. Yeah. If you, if you tell me, ah, I will never repeat it again. Yeah. All I know is somebody taught me. Yeah. I learned under somebody. 
I didn't just stand up and say, oh, I'm doing the confidence I have. I can walk into a room and then you say, oh, I'm saying for a very long time, I've not applied. Like, I don't, where I want to go, I don't get job with uh, the soft, small, like. So, over time, I now said, oh, let me resume. I started from my back, back, back. Then I landed one, some reached out to me on LinkedIn, some. Then I went for this one in Abuja and then oh, walked into the room and then they said, um, okay, after the interview, then they said, you know, now they ask you net, they ask you cross, money path. So if you are successful for this role, how much do you look at them? The figure I had to say in mind before, I didn't see it again. When I came here, I told them, this is what I want. Come off here. <laughs> One of them, like, <laughs> I say, yes. They say, gross, Abi. I said, yeah, gross. I mean, because if you do your plus and minus, maybe mm. you will just, then I'll be. And then that's like upgrade. I went to the interview. You know how tech bros they dress. Mm. I think everybody was wearing corporate. Everybody was wearing this. Everybody. I'm the only one that left Kaduna that morning to my hair, my earring, my my shoes, sneakers, I just enter, go sit down. Your turn, I go in first stage, second stage, third stage. My God, they, like, you'll be so confident. And I'm telling you that you will not be even scared or like, you know, this is what I do. It will take time small, but yeah. more will come. Yeah. If you ask for it, we come. Yeah. If, if you don't, like, if you don't, oh, this is limit. There's no limit. Yeah. Or like, there's money everywhere. Even yeah. me, like, ah. They find out. Everybody, you say you define money. <laughs> but there's money. It's just knowing that there's possibilities yeah. in some certain things. You put in your all to it, staying dedicated. Yeah. You learn every day. You advance every day. Instagram, you learn from Instagram. You learn from LinkedIn. Mm. Looking at people's posts. Looking at how they compose their posts. How they talk about marketing. How they are passionate about it. If you are not passionate... Ah, no. You have to know that. You have to agree. You know how you agree that, okay, let me marry this woman. Like, they yeah. Will. Is it decision? Is it lost part. <laughs> Is it decision, bro? Yeah, yeah. You might probably want to advance in the future, learn like product marketing, mm -hmm. maybe advance to other, like, um, you can learn product design, so there's no limit. Like, yeah. you can do, you can learn anything. Do anything. But, being confused everywhere and not doing particular one good is the problem. Yeah. You can do everything, be good in one. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. You know, I, I made a promise to everyone who listens to this podcast, right? For those people who share, who like, who subscribe, what else? Who follows? What else do you need them to do? <laughs> you right? say for later. You say for later, whichever, <laughs> right? Um, I made a promise that every session that I have with my guests is always going to be good, right? I believe this has been, this is more than good. This is excellent, right? And this is going to most likely inspire you, right? What's most likely? That this will inspire you <laughs> to, you know, either start, or to be more confident about what you're doing, right? Either in digital marketing or in any tech space, right? And it's been a great privilege and honor to have um, Sam, you know, talk about his journey. And I, I've learned a lot, right? I've seen the, I can, I can sense the energy. You know, there's this thing, when you see some people that have put in their life into this thing, right? I, I could sense the energy, right? From when, you know, um, he started this and where he is right now, the energy. And as you keep growing, right, in any tech space, as you keep growing, there's, the confidence keeps getting better, right? And yeah, yeah I'm so glad we had this conversation. And um, my quick request for you again, or to you is, please like, share, comment, save for later, send to your friend, follow. Share on your story. Share your stories, you know. Just let this message go out there, right? Um, yes, thank you so much for doing that for us. Thank you so much, Sam.
Yeah, and we can connect with you via Instagram Thank vibes uh, right. underscore Samuel. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll put that. Just Instagram is okay. Just Instagram is okay. Just Instagram. <laughs> Don't follow me anyway. All Just right. Instagram. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening. It was a privilege. Yeah. To the next episode. All right. Yeah, Bye guys. Yeah.